It is a dark day in York, New City. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Bus or I Shinobi. We have episode 52 today of Hunter Hunter called Assault and Impact. And as I said, it is, it is getting rough out in these streets. Frollo and the Phantom Troop have pretty much unleashed their full fury onto the city to cause as much chaos as possible. And for why? I think it's for Uvo at this point. We're going to hop right into it. If you're new to the channel, drop a sub, hit that big wood bell so missing future episodes. And let's get started with the episode. Oh no, they're underground. Go on and kill about to find out about what's going on on surface level. I feel like their reunion with Karapika is so, is, is so inevitable soon. Dude, the soundtrack is so good. It's so hype. Also, we still don't know what, what's going on with Neon. Like, I still think he like planted something on her. Karapika's trying to realize something going on though. Now the plan's changed. Kurapika's like number one target to them right now. Again, as revenge for Uvo. We st I still don't understand what their their whole goal is. I mean, I guess was it was raiding the auction originally and stealing everything. <laughs> oh, one of the assassins. Oh no. He's rolling all of them, man. There's a pin in the back of your neck, brother. And it took him two, like a, a whole sentence to realize that. Why does Krolo use a pen so much? Man just carries several. There's the ambulance, the evac. Goodness! I mean, they got played safe. <laughs> There's no way to know you're not a Phantom Troop member. Killua knows he's like, something's going on here. Run in the subway tunnels? Oh, okay. Yeah, makes sense. That conductor's like, was that a child? Bro, he's like number one bodyguard. Bro, he faced one. You would get rolled by any of them. Kropika also wants to go find more Phantom Shirt members. <laughs> Bro, there's like a battlefield going on outside. They're like, can we, can we just get this auction going? Like anyone could get in here though, and like in behind, behind the lines, and pretend to be a big mobster. Especially Krolo, he seems very intelligent in terms of manipulation. <gasps> <laughs> it is a little complicated. Karabaka's mind just exploded. <laughs> He's like an upset mother. Well, uh, Karabaka has some news for you. Yeah, I'm shocked he won't take any and all information they have. <gasps> I forgot they had an idea that it was him that killed one of them. Karapika just doesn't want to endanger them. Can't even see Karapika's face. He sees it like a, his own path that they don't need to go down with him. Oh, shoot. Wait. Who's following him, though? Oh my god! The like pupils movie looks so cursed. Was one of them controlling him? Oh, I was about. Bro's just mashing on his phone. It's Strong Armin. He calls people machines? That is horrible. Karapika, you might need some help. Gonna be honest. Did his head just snap? Bro, they're all just standing there rolling people. What is Hisaka doing? Just enjoying the show, I guess. 2,000. Gone in like probably an hour or two. Little scared now, huh? Maybe you want to find Karapika? The Ten Dons. Will we get to see them finally? I wonder where they are. Mm -hmm. That's their current objective, but it has to be more overarching than that. He wanted them to feel the pain that he has felt his entire life, the mourning of someone like that. <gasps> oh, shoot. 
It's hit the wall. There's already someone inside. I don't think we know. It might be Krolo. Yeah, it is Krolo. There's the pen. I like how much the leader himself is behind, like, enemy lines. Seven seconds to kill everybody? <laughs> God dang. I think Krolo's looking for Karapika, though. Just wandering around, man. So nonchalant. Kill his dad is the unit. I suppose Karapika will find them. I mean, they're, technically they're working together, but who's going to find who first? <laughs> who is interrupting? <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Nostrad, I quit. <laughs> he actually will turn away? Wow. I thought he wasn't going to be able to hold himself back. Oh, but they're going in. <gasps> it is. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh no. Steel techniques? The copycat? I don't know, like, everybody's power levels, but this seems like a dead even fight. Two on one versus the leader of the Phantom Troop? Oh, it's showtime! Oh, he's running! I mean, two on one versus two prof- Ooh, got a cut! Versus two professional assassins, man? They're kind of rolling him! Let's go, Zoldix! Yeah! He got kind of scared there for a second. Where did he get the knife from? <gasps> then how is he not paralyzed? Oh, but he can't? Oh, okay. Mm. He got him. <laughs> He's like impressed. What conditions would he have set? Breaking down his entire fighting technique. I still think it has something to do with the mark on his forehead that he's covering up. Bro! Bro, they are really professionals! Why did they take him down with me? He's gonna try to grab him? He's slowly walking towards him! And summoned a book? Skill Hunter Banded Secret? Wait, is this why he carries pens? No? What is that? The power of the sun in the palm of his hand! Dragon head long tooth. What? That is sick. Is it like a matador type thing? It like kind of distracts the. Oh, very solid hit! Pretty cool! Oh, it's like a spell book. Oh, okay. I love how he's breaking it down so easily. Yeah, why not? Either trying to close the gap or he's setting something up long term. They still have to take him down, though. Oh, he does. Does know that he has the, the mark then from the first time that they met he saw it okay so it's not instantly recognizable and the old man is willing to it seems like he's trapped and cornered here but i have a really bad feeling he is and he has been long-term setting things up oh gonna take him down with him he's trapped <laughs> Oh my god! You can't hit like this! Stop! Unexpected development! God damn it! Oh my god! He said he's poison. No biggie. Ties his arm off and he's just ready to go again. I can't, man. I have a really bad feeling that Krolo is still kind of like has this fight right now. Unless they've set him up to like not be and maybe more of a successor will come in. And he was more setting up on maybe a path for the Phantom Troop. That is one possibility. But I feel like he's still... Like, wait, we haven't seen enough of him to know what exactly he has hidden up his sleeves i mean this entire show fights have been about leading your opponent astray especially hisoka i'm really glad we finally got an actual conversation with with karapika going and Gila with this episode even if it was just over the phone still they kind of got a general idea of where each other are and their current mindsets but i couldn't tell you how excited i am to see what happens at the end of this fight guys that's been it for episode 52 of our hunter hunter watch or drop a sub if you're new and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace peace